Hey everybody, I'm Chris Cat 42 and welcome to Trivia Time. Today, I'm going to talk about Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. So, without further ado, let's go on with the show. Link's Awakening is the only Zelda game not to feature Princess Zelda herself. She is mentioned at one point at the beginning of the game when Link confuses Marin with Zelda, but other than that, Zelda is nowhere to be seen. Rather than the usual maximum of 20 hearts, this game has a maximum of only 14 heart containers. This is tied with the non-linked Oracle games with the second lowest maximum heart capacity in the canon series, trailing only behind the adventure of Link, whose maximum heart count is 8. While not as influential to the overall structure of Zelda games as Legend of Zelda or Link to the Past was, Link's Awakening introduced a number of elements that reoccur in later Zelda games, including a location other than Hyrule as the setting of the game, a musical instrument that can play multiple songs, each with a different ability, the fishing minigame, each dungeon having its own musical theme instead of sharing the same theme, a trading sequence, the first fire team dungeon in the form of Turtle Rock, the rock's feather, an owl who periodically meets Link in order to give him advice on where to go next, and finally, a set of collectible items that are hidden throughout the world and are useless by themselves, but can be taken to a certain location in order to redeem them for useful prizes. In this game's case, it's the secret seashells. While most other games contain references to other Nintendo franchises, Link's Awakening is pretty much known for this because it's chock full of references to the other Nintendo series, with the majority of them being references to the Mario franchise. The Yoshi doll is reference to Yoshi. The character Taran is very similar in appearance to Mario. Also, at one point in the game, Taran turns into a raccoon by eating a mushroom, which is probably a reference to Super Mario Bros. 3, although in that game, Mario turns into a raccoon by using a leaf, not a mushroom. The Cuckoo Keeper is similar in appearance to Luigi. The Windfish Egg is similar in appearance to a Yoshi Egg. Mr. Wright is similar in appearance to Dr. Wright from the Super Nintendo version of Sim City. Also, the picture Mr. Wright shows to Link is of Princess Peach. Richard, a character from For Frog the Bell Tolls, makes an appearance. Mamu is based on Wart, the final boss of Super Mario Bros. 2. The Bluebird enemy is based on the Bloopers for the Mario series. The Boo Buddy enemy is based on the Boos for the Mario series. Bow Wow is based on the Chain Chomp from the Mario series. The Cheap Cheap enemy is based on, well, the Cheap Cheaps from the Mario series. The Goomba enemy is based on, well, the Goombas from the Mario series. The Anti-Kirby enemy is based on Kirby, the star of the Kirby series. The Piranha Plant enemy is reference to the Piranha Plants from the Mario series. The Pokey enemy is a reference to the Pokey enemy from the Mario series. The Mask Mimic enemies is a reference to the Shy Guy from the Mario series. The Spiked Beetle enemies is a reference to the Spiny from the Mario series. And finally, the Twomp enemy is a reference to the Twomps from the Mario series. With the exception of Eagle's Tower, every dungeon is in the shape of something. The first dungeon, Tail Cave, is in the shape of Moldorm, the boss of that dungeon. The second dungeon, Bottle Grotto, is in the shape of a bottle. The third dungeon, Key Cavern, is in the shape of two keys. The fourth dungeon, Angler's Tunnel, is in the shape of a fishing hook. The fifth dungeon, Catfish's Maw, is in the shape of an eel. The sixth dungeon, Face Shrine, is in the shape of a face. And then the final dungeon, Turtle Rock, is in the shape of a turtle. Even though Marin's official artwork and a trophy in Super Smash Bros. Melee both depict her with a harp, Marin's never once seen with a harp during Link's Awakening. In the Japanese version of Link's Awakening, Martha Mermaid did not lose a necklace, but a bikini top instead, but this was deemed a little too inappropriate, so it was changed to a necklace in other versions. In the Japanese version, in Animal Village, the hippo model is actually posing as a nude model, with a towel and what appear to be breasts, and when Link comes in, she'll cover up. This was deemed too inappropriate by Nintendo of America, so they changed it by removing the towel and giving her a more unisex appearance. After the completion of Angler's Tunnel, a ghost will start following Link around until Link rests its spirit. However, it's never explained how this ghost died in the first place. 
But if you notice in the bathroom of Angus Tunnel, there's a single skull on the bottom of the floor. It means someone died here previously. So maybe this is where the ghost dies, and he does start following you after you complete this dungeon. Of course, this is just a theory. Total Rock is the only dungeon in the entire Legend of the Zelda series where it has a boss directly guarding its entrance. There is a glitch that can occur when finding the two Dodongo Snakes. If you kill one and then leave the room and come back, the other one will have disappeared. This is because the game flags this as the boss being defeated. It is possible that the Grim Creeper enemy from Eagle's Tower is the inspiration of the Skull Kiss that appear in later Zelda games, since both wear skull masks and both play a flute to summon monsters to attack you. The Evil Eagle, the boss of Eagle's Tower, is the only boss on Link's Awakening that does not speak, since the Grim Creeper speaks for it. The Mysterious Woods Japanese name is the Woods of Mystery, which is the same name as an area from Majora's Mask. If Link waits in Rich's Villa for 2 minutes and 30 seconds, it will eventually bring into a familiar tune hidden in several other Nintendo games. This is unofficially known as Totaka's Song, as a hidden melody that Kasumiku Totaka could replace in games that he worked on. When Link steals something from the town tool shop in Link's Awakening DX, a picture of him stealing an item will be added to his photo album. On this photo, there are two signs. The one on the left means shoplifting prevention, while the one on the right means shoplifting is a crime. Those are some words to live by. Finally, the area who Cuckoo Prairie's name is a lie because it contains trees, and Prairie is a plain with no trees. Well, that's our tale for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time on Trivia Time. Hey guys, if you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to see some more Trivia Time, you can click on the thumbnails on the screen.